Greetings radio people, welcome back once more to the shack. Balance, 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 half wound balance, other balance, type 43, type 37, type 75, pig's nose. What's it all about? Possibly the most complicated and overcomplicated topic ever in the history of amateur radio. If you look on YouTube, there's a million videos all telling you how to make a ballon that's kind of different. And there's also a thousand and one million pages on the internet with information about ballons. It's so confusing. Now, I've recently been authorized to manufacture some antennas for Vine antennas. And we're designing some end-fed, off-center-fed, and conventional dipoles, including a Wyndham and various other antennas. So I've been fiddling around with the design of some balance. Now, looking at some commercial balance and trying to think about things very, very simply, a balance is taking an unbalanced signal, which is coming out at the end of a piece of coax like this, and converting it into a balanced signal, or in the other direction, taking a balanced signal and converting it to an unbalanced signal. Now, if you imagine a balanced feeder, so an open wire feed line, an old fashioned open wire feed line, they work extremely well, always worth giving them a try. What you need to have in your balanced feeder is your RF signal needs to be traveling in opposite directions in both lines of the feeder, going up in one and down in the other. And what they need to be is exactly 90 degrees out of phase. That way, they don't interfere with each other and they don't cancel each other out. But any noise that's picked up by the feed line will be in both lines and effectively will cancel each other out because they're equal in both. So it's critical that a ballon converts a single signal to a pair of signals that are 90 degrees out of phase. Now, this is a, the, the scope trace from a commercial ballon that costs a lot more than three bob and a conker. The yellow trace you see down here is my signal input. Now, it's a bit of a funny shape, suggesting there are some reflections maybe on the transmission line, bit of a mismatch, maybe it isn't quite 50 ohms, don't know. The output of this, in this case, which is a four to one ballon, so we're transforming from 50 ohms to 200 ohms, the kind of thing you'd use on an off-center fed dipole, these two signals are pretty much 90 degrees out of phase. This is a two megahertz signal. This kind of dark purple trace I've got here is the mathematical function of the scope of the addition of these two together. So if you add these two together, what you effectively get is what I believe to be the loss. So this would be the loss because of cancellation in a balanced feed line as a result of using this ballon. Very minimal, looks very, very good. That's two megahertz. Now let me show you exactly the same ballon at 30 megahertz. The signal amplitude is the same. So it, it looks like there's a better match to 50 ohms. All that noise has gone because uh, it's presumably there's less reflections and stuff on the transmission line. But look at the outputs. Just look at the outputs. They're nothing like 90 degrees out of phase. So how the hell can this be a working and commercial ballon? I don't understand. Confusion. I've tried terminating it with the appropriate impedances and all this kind of stuff. But it's still, as the frequency increases across HF, so the 90 degree phase gets less and less and less. So by the time we get to 30, degree, 30 megahertz, we're only a few degrees out of phase. What's going on? Now, a very simple design of a four to one ballon can look like that using two cores. Now, I will probably choose to use type 43. For a low power ballon, we can get away with smaller cores up to, a, this would be a, just for use with a 100 watt transceiver or something. Two cores, tightly wound by filler woundings. But for higher power, we would probably want to start using Teflon wire like this, which is heat proof and obviously bigger type 43 cores. But let me show you what the output of this ballon looks like. All the way from one to 45 or 50 megahertz, 
this is what the ballon looks like. This is the input signal, and these are the two output signals. Beautifully matched, no, no reflections or anything in the transmission line, and pu pretty much 90 degrees out of phase. So if anybody of my brilliant and fabulous subscription people, if anyone can tell me what on earth is going on with this so so-called commercial ballon and why it looks like that at 30 megahertz i'd be delighted to hear from you as ever if you like the channel please give me a thumbs up and subscribe i look forward to seeing you next time